Starting with just a day before Chandrayaan-3 attempts to make that soft landing at the moon's south pole, a two-way communication has been established between the lander module and the Chandrayaan uh, or, uh, orbiter. According to ISRO, the lander Vikram, which has been orbiting the moon since August 5th, has now made contact with Chandrayaan-2 orbiter. The chairman of ISRO, Dr. S. Somnath, met Union Minister of State, of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh in New Delhi. The meeting focused on Chandrayaan 3's readiness for the moon landing scheduled for tomorrow. Remember, the entire country is waiting for this with bated breath. Let's take a quick look at just why this landing is extremely crucial for the country and especially ISRO and the space community. Now, first of all, this will show India's tech prowess in space exploration. Remember, many have attempted a soft landing on the South Pole. Nobody have come close. But also for a country like India to match those who have done a landing at the moon is going to be a big achievement. It will boost the morale of the scientific community. It will inspire more scientists in India. The mission will foster a sense of national pride. We're already seeing a lot of the countrymen coming together. It also will promote our indigenous research and development. And that's the USP of ISRO, isn't it? The fact that they managed to do these things in shoestring budgets, leaving the world in awe. The sector also has the potential to create a lot many jobs, especially if it attracts more private investment in space tech. India is moving in that direction. The position of India amongst the top four tech advanced countries is going to be enhanced and it will also pave way for more international collaboration. Already a lot of that is coming India's way. So definitely that uh, because uh, last time we could not achieve because we until uh, this phase we did very well at last time also but uh, the landing portion only we could not achieve properly so definitely that's what uh, this time it's a very 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 anxious moment everybody is working i mean uh, looking it very anxiously for this event to happen and uh, I am sure that this time it will be a grand success. First up, joining me is former ISRO director, Dr. Surendra Pal Singh. Thanks a lot for your time. Now, a lot of technical aspects of this mission have already been discussed over the past few weeks. But, you know, the question that comes to mind on ordinary Indians' mind, uh, people like me and others, is just how does the team keep calm before such a big mission that the entire country, in fact, the world is watching out for? What do you think will be going on in their minds? See, first of all, in any space technology mission, everybody is at uh, toes, mm -hmm. okay? But at the same time, they have to keep uh, calm. And for every system, there are uh, experts. And all the experts look into their systems mm. and then feed to the mission director. So, it's a combined process. It's not an individual one. So, everybody looks after its own system. And one has to be cool. And without being a cool, you can't analyze the data and you can't uh, do the uh, you can't take a decisions mm -hmm. which a mission operations mission director has to take it so being a cool is a part and parcel of our training mm -hmm. okay uh, that may be part of the training so let me come to the technical aspects uh, what do you think make the chances of this mission uh, better than the last one. A lot of technical upgrades have been done, enhancements have been made, a lot of the knowledge from the last mission has been employed in the design and the strategy for this one. So what do you think keeps us in good stead, especially versus the last mission? See, let me tell you, as compared to last mission, there are the dispersion rates, you know, or limits have been increased. Let me tell you that last time we had a five thrusters, okay, 
hmm. and they were all 400 uh, newton thrusters this time four thrusters have been put 800 newton thrusters another thing is slew rates have been you know we can regulate hmm. the thrust and slew rate is like you know in, uh, i mean we can uh, in, uh, control the flow of the hmm. fuel inside the thrusters and the thrust also we can control it that's called the slew rate then uh, extra sensors have been added hmm. like uh, velocity laser velocity doppler meter the hazard hazardous uh, you know detection and avoidance camera and uh, altimeters carbon altimeter and the laser altimeter and aft and front cameras also the algorithms have been changed hmm. earlier we had algorithms of first order this time the algorithms are all polynomials are of second order and the another thing is that uh, pe- uh, more fuel has been put inside the uh, lander as well as the propulsion module and uh, uh, emergency situations if they are there mm-hmm. the al- log- algorithms are there which can take care of the emergency situations not only this uh, suppose if we are not able to land okay in a designated we you know our yesterday's statement says that on 27th one can try and in my personal opinion uh, yeah, we will be uh, i mean landing on the first day itself then there are you know ho- area has been increased from 2 pi early 500 meter by 500 meter 2.5 kilometers by 4 kilometers which has been divided into grids and 200 grids have been points have been detected from that 20 have been selected from 28 have been selected and the criteria for selecting the landing is that no boulder should be more than 2 meters height no uh, crater you know there is a difference between crater and mare so crater which are because of the impact of the meteorites should be more should not have a uh, slope more than 10 degree and uh, uh, there should be a complete illumination of from the sun also we should be able to communicate with the orbiter as well as with the ground so all these things have been taken care then added to that one the sensors which have been put and all calibrations are done you know we, i mean there is a total system when we deboosting is done okay for the before the landing the 10 seconds or so 10 to 20 seconds are kept for absolute calibration which will be done of the all the sensors till now the sensors were working on their own and they will be done with the star sensors you know laser gyros are there which are very accurate their drift rates are very low similarly we can control the thrust we can control even the uh, there are eight more thrusters are there we can control the total attitude mm-hmm. okay and gyros are there so the, I mean, Chairman Isru has made a statement which has come into the public that if everything fails yes. because the total analysis has been done based on failure mode analysis, okay? So everything fails, if propulsion system works, we will land. So I, I say that everything will not fail, mm. everything will work wonderfully well mm. and we will land on the designated position on the designated date. That's my confidence. Absolutely. Along with the whole country's confidence. Absolutely. Fingers crossed for that. And of course, we will be getting our viewers all the live coverage and updates. I do want to ask you, uh, we, we all understand a few of the benefits that we will get as far as the success of this mission is concerned. But as a scientist from the space community, if India manages to do this, what do you think is going to be the benefits out of this, not just for us, but for the world? Well, uh, technologically, we will be advanced. We will mm-hmm. develop many technologies in this. Uh, mm-hmm. And they will get uh, certified. They will get verified. And some of the technologies will go for the future missions. Okay, They may go even for uh, Gaganyaan. And they are not only this, some of the technologies will go on lander. You know, lander hovers like a helicopter. If those technologies can be used for, uh, uh, say, drones or helicopters or such thing, you know, automatic missions for uh, in the war field or for mining purposes, mm-hmm. for monitoring the uh, traffic, all those things, it will be, all those technologies will be available. Yes. See, the spin-offs of the technologies which are developed for uh, Chandrayaan will be used for, for future missions, maybe for Gaganyaan and could be used for commercial purposes also. It will be available to the public. So, uh, spin-offs are many. Then, what scientific data which we are getting about the moon surface, about the, uh, you know, boulders, craters, and photographs, etc. 
that will increase the knowledge of the mankind about the uh, origin of poon there are four concepts which one will be better i think we will get inputs for this one yes and uh, uh, for future also absolutely for future too so not just india but the entire world is rooting for india and uh, it was a shame uh, and unfortunate that the luna 25 of the russians crashed but because of that crash there's obviously added pressure on the isro team uh, sir finally any message to your colleagues former colleagues any message to the isro team on the eve of the landing i am con quite confident i wish all the good luck to isro team hmm. they are all my colleagues and uh, i know majority of the per persons who are involved with the uh, this uh, mission i also wish to good luck to myself because being an indian i wish to have a good luck uh, yes. to the country and also to the mankind and all scientific community absolutely well good luck to you good luck to all of us and good luck to isro thanks a lot uh, mr pal singh for joining us speaking of the chandrayaan mission a centralized screening of the historic chandrayaan 3 landing is being planned in the national capital we are getting to know that mos department of space dr jitendra singh along with the scientific uh, secretaries will be viewing the soft landing of vikram lander The government sources are also telling us that the prime minister is likely to join this screening virtually. Remember the prime minister is in Johannesburg, South Africa for the BRICS summit. My colleague Shrishti Chaudhary is also joining us live from Bengaluru. Shrishti, what more are you hearing about this special screening that is being uh, that is being planned for tomorrow? Uh yes, a special screening would be uh conducted and uh Uh, Indians across the country would be able to view it once the live telecast begins at about 5:20 p.m. in the evening. Uh, uh, it's important to tell our viewers that the actual part descent would start at about 5:45 p.m. It's going to be like a 15 to 16 minutes exercise, and if all goes well, India would be on the moon by 6:4 p.m. And uh, this part descent phase is the most crucial phase of Chandrayaan 3, which is when the uh, lander would be gradually brought down. towards the lunar surface it's going to move horizontally and then it's going to move vertically then it's going to find a, a perfect space for landing and eventually land just give me a sense shrishti of the buzz uh, in bengaluru uh, you're one of the very few individuals who of course will be able to interact with uh, members of the team uh, but uh, how would you describe the mood as far as the team is concerned nervous anxiety or uh, excitement uh definitely a lot of excitement uh so chandrayaan is riding on the hopes and dreams of billions of indians we are returning to the moon uh, after almost 4 years uh remember the on 2019 uh, late in the night when we were counting on isro to complete the mission then a uh, error creeped in at the last moment and within the last few minutes uh, the lander crash landed so this time there's a lot of excitement a lot of confidence actually stemming from uh, isro's concerted efforts over the last 4 years ISRO chairman Mr S Somnath has uh, consistently emphasized that ISRO is very confident about achieving success uh, in this uh, mission this time and uh, the lander the uh, the propulsion module and the rover have all been improved uh, compared to the last mission in 2019 so in a few years from now the ISRO is uh, gearing up for the uh, final phase of the mission and but it's important to tell our viewers that uh, ISRO scientists would again conduct a meeting 2 uh, hours before the planned touchdown they're going to monitor the health of the spacecraft and if all the parameters are as expected then only they'll give the command for the uh, uh, power descent uh, the entire process is going to be entirely automated so scientists will have to give a green signal for the process to begin at about uh, 5:45 pm in the evening all right shrishti thanks a lot for joining us uh, let's hope they all have a good night's sleep but there will be a lot of anxiety and butterflies in the stomach Tomorrow of course our special coverage on the Chandrayaan mission continues all through the day so be with us time for a very short break on the other side Vishwanathan Anand India's former five time world chess champion is joining me live after game 1 of the world cup final between India's Pragyananda and Magnus Carlsen has ended in a draw after 35 uh, moves we'll get uh, the former champion to talk about uh, Pragya's chances stay with us